We are learning more tonight about the 25-year-old man who lost his life, battling the largest wildfire this province has ever seen. Zach Muse was living in Kelowna, working his third consecutive summer as a wildland firefighter. Tonight, his family and the company he worked for are paying tribute to him, saying he was kind, hardworking, and determined to make a career out of fighting wildfires. CTV's Shannon Patterson has the story. 25-year-old Zach Muse had worked two previous summers as a wildland firefighter in BC when he was hired by Big Cat Wildfire for the 2023 season. Nobody ever had a bad thing to say about the guy. You talk about a, a person that was honest and hardworking, and, and, and Zach was the definition of that. He was, uh, you know, a true, a true testament to uh, the quality of a person that it takes to do this job. For Muse and his Summerland-based Big Cat crew, Friday, July 28th was the final day of a two-week deployment at the Donnie Creek wildfire in northern BC. I specifically picked him for this assignment to go up there because I knew it was a large, large scale, and I, I wanted to send a crew up that was. Uh, that, that could do some good work and really make an impact. They were working on a pump site when there was a request to go retrieve fuel for the pump and Zach volunteered to, to help with that. And uh, that's when the incident occurred. The young firefighter's UTV rolled down an embankment. Despite the best efforts of his crew, Muse did not survive. It's something we'll never get over. It's just, it's, it's hard. There's no other words to describe it. To describe it. It's, it's, just a, it's just a tragic loss. In an email, Muse's Ontario family said, we are devastated by the sudden and tragic loss of our son, brother, and friend. Zach loved life and loved what he was doing. He will be missed by all who knew him. He was honestly one of the greatest men that I've ever had the honor of working next to. The love he had for life and just his every day having the biggest smile on his face, no matter what the task at hand was, his appreciation for life and everyone that he cared about and like he he's a brother to me. Zach's family has set up a fundraiser in his name to benefit the Canadian Critical Incident Stress Foundation Camp Faces program. We did speak with the family. I mean, the, the crew uh, after the incident got the opportunity to have a FaceTime with them and what a truly amazing family they are, which speaks volumes to the quality of the person that Zach was. Their primary concern was making sure that we were okay and, and despite everything they were going through, they, they just wanted to express their gratitude and their thankfulness for everything that the crew did for him. Muse's firefighter call sign Big Cat 20 has been retired by the company and it's planning a memorial for him in Penticton next week. We definitely want to give him uh, a hero send off. Uh, we think he deserves that. Shannon Patterson, CTV News.